Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jay. So in, this is uh, another video about multiple column layout. Multi column layout. Um, it's about uh, the uh, content breaks. In the previous videos, uh, I've covered the overflow problem and uh, about the content break. It's actually very simple. So, um, okay, let's take a look at this example. Um, we separated it into two columns. So for each paragraph, uh, it might be uh, added with uh, with a column break by the browser engine, depending on the dimensions and anything. So for this paragraph, it actually, or this heading here, it has two needs in, uh, in special occasions. The first one is that uh, it must be at the head, right? It must be at the head or it must be at the end. Another one is that it doesn't want a page, uh, a column break in the content itself. So according to these needs, there are uh, three properties. The first one is a breaking side. Another one is break before and break after. Okay. Yeah, this these three uh, properties uh, help us uh, define where the pay content breaks should be. Let's take a look first example. Uh, the first one is that uh, there's a two columns, mm -hmm, obviously with column width, column width, and there is a figure, I think, image, and a figure caption, right? Okay, let's first remove the p tag here to see what happens. Okay. Uh, when we remove the, okay. Let's make it this a little bigger. Okay, another P tag. Uh huh. Uh, change it a little bit. Ah, I'm sorry. This is it. And uh, first, we without without this a breaking site. You see that uh, the figure caption. You see that uh, the borderline actually. This is the borderline of the figure caption here. You see, the border bottom. So because the box actually um, of this figure caption is sliced and put it into another column. This is actually there's a, a column break within this figure caption. So to avoid this problem, say we want the figure caption and together with the image as a whole figure, we could add the uh, page. Uh, no, 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 breaking side, breaking side, avoid. Okay. Oh, uh, if I add it here, it actually doesn't trigger the update. Let's uh, reflow it. Yeah, this now, you see that border uh, would not be put into second columns. That's why, we. Uh, of course, we could add the figure, the, the parent element to see, to see the, the behavior, you see. Now the uh, the border is kept together with the figure. So if you don't want a page break with inside a content, just uh, add a void. Cool. And here's another problem. Uh, this is an example without this one. You see, uh, if we don't have this content width, it's like a normal flow, right? And then we set it in two columns. And this heading actually is in in the middle of a column. Maybe you think that this is not right because it is a heading. I'd like to be put at the head. Okay, that is when you want to say, okay, before it, there must be a column break. So it means it will be kept at the start. Let's add it. Yeah. What should be, it should be at the after. Yeah, you see. After, it means after this heading, there will be a column break. So there will be no contents after it. You, know, you can, we can use break before and break after. Yeah, so this is it. A break uh, inside, break before, before, uh, break after. There will be some other uh, values for these properties we will cover in a separate videos when we are looking back to the CSS reference on MDN. Uh, in this video, it's about uh, the general introduction, okay? So the last one is the orphans and windows. It's just jump. Um, there will be a lot of uh, 
uh, explanation here. It sounds vague and doesn't know what it does. Doesn't know what it does. Let's ju jump into uh, the orphans directly. Let's see the example. The orphans actually means it means the minimum number of lines in the block container that must be shown at the bottom of a page, region, or a column. Let's take a look at take a look at example here. Um, this is the column, multiple columns. It has often set to three. It means the last part must has at least three columns. You see the columns here, three, right? This is three. Um, let's change it to four. Default is two. If we don't have this three, let's see what happens. It doesn't. It doesn't change. It doesn't change. It's because this is set the minimum. It doesn't sh tell the browsers that you must show three at minimum three, right? So now if default is two. 3 is also uh, acceptable. If we change it to 4, things starting to change. Okay, now I'm toggling this dev panel to trigger the reflow. Okay, you see that now uh, the, 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 the column break will be uh, added directly after the first paragraph, right? And this will be, uh, it means it can't use. It can't just uh, show through four nines here and break, because what? Because if I show four nines here, uh, the this one, this one line will be put place here, right? So it will be one line there. It's not optimal. If you add more con I th contents, I think it would be changing. It will change. Let's add more paragraphs here. Okay, you see now. Just one. Okay, I think this, just uh, one line will be suffice. Okay, just one line. Okay, add some space. Okay, you see now, it will break in the middle of this paragraph because uh, the here at minimum is two lines, so it could be break broken. Uh, it could break here. If it was one line here, it's not okay. And so why is one line here not okay? It's because there's not a property called Windows, as the as the weird as the name it may sound, it actually means <laughs> it's in a type. It's a it's a word in the typo ty typography. I don't want to spend time there. Let's just jump to the demonstration here. Um, if we add the windows to three, it means the head, the, the beginning of a column must have at least three lines. It's here you see that's two, right? Default is two. Now let's trigger the reflow. You see now that there's three here and three here, and this is two here, right? Um, if I say okay, the two here is not optimal. Um, okay. Uh, over here, we could add orphans, a uh, three. Now, now let's see what happens. It will not break between them. Mm hmm. Wait a minute. It's uh Windows three. Uh, orphan three. So orphan actually has a pr higher priority on the high property. Yeah, than the windows. I see. If we toggle it, it will have three lines, right? Yeah. Could it? Set it to one, a minimum one, so it will use two actually. I think, um, yeah, so that's it. It's pretty tricky because this is not general rules, it's set minimum, help the uh, it's a hint for the browsers to work, okay? So that's all for the uh, uh, condom breaks about the multi multi column layout. Hope it helps. Um, actually, there will be two more videos about this, about spanning and balancing and styling. Um, stay tuned. See you next time. Bye-bye.